Good day learners, this is AC Engineering. This time, we're going to talk about writing equations for aqueous ionic reactions. There are three types of equations in writing aqueous ionic reactions. Let us have an example to see each types of equations. When silver nitrate and sodium chromate are mixed, solid silver chromate forms. When we write this in a balanced equation, we will have What we have here is the first equation known as the molecular equation. This kind of equation tells us all the species that are in a solution. The designation of its state like solid, liquid, gas, and aqueous is very important here because it tells us that if there is a change in state, then there is a precipitation happened. Just like in the equation above, the reactants are both in aqueous solution that yields a solid product, hence precipitation occurs. The next equation is called the total ionic equation. Here, we must dissociate soluble substances into ions. This is more accurate than among other kind of equations. The solid substance is the only undissociated compound. So we have, as you notice in the equation, that the elements are all balanced as well as the charges. On the left, there are 4 positive and 4 negative, which sums up to 0. And on the right, 2 positive and 2 negative, which also sums up to 0. Notice also that sodium and nitrate appears both on the left and right, meaning there is nothing happened to them. They are called as spectator ions. They participate in the reaction but are not involved in the chemical changes or precipitation. Moving on to the last equation known as net ionic equation, here we simplify the total ionic equation by eliminating the spectator ions. So here we have In the reaction, we only see the chemical change which is the formation of solid silver chromate. Knowing these things, we are now ready for the important classes of chemical reactions. These are precipitation, acid base, and oxidation reduction. So that's it. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.